Greetings diecast racing fans, Sharky here and welcome back to Sharky's Garage. Not at Vulcan Raceway today. So we've got something a little bit different today, uh, which we'll get into in a minute. Um, I've received a care package from Brandon over at the Scale Racing Channel. I'm uh, going to talk to you through what he has sent to me. Stuff that is not, well, some of it is available in the UK, but some of it is not readily available in the UK. Um, so we'll talk through all of that. Um, before we get into that, don't forget to do the usual things like comment and subscribe. So, excuse me while I take a quick sip of my coffee. And I suppose we need to switch from 164 scale me to real size me. Right. There's a reason there are four cars here. Um, we'll set them to one side for a moment and we'll get into that in a second. This is the package that Brandon sent me. Um, and thank you very much to him for doing that. Um, I will... Oh, uh, that was something else I had, which I need for this as well. So, there's not a lot in here, and actually, it costs a fair amount. Um, the whole of this package costs nearly $90 to get to the UK, um, and some of the things in here are free gifts from... Um, Brandon as well. Other things were things that he purchased and sent on to me. So what we got in here. Stuff to make vehicles fast. To make, well, the Corgis may be interesting. He didn't mention that in his video. Now, if you look in the description, there will be linked Brandon's video on how to use all of this stuff. So what we've got here is an older matchbox, metal upper, metal lower, with the older wheels. We've got a really nice looking um, Hot Wheels with a metal base. And then we've got the more modern ones which have got a metal upper and a plastic base. So, Sharky, what's in there? Well, graphite lube. And there's multiple different types of it. There's some screws in here. Um, there's some drill bits in here and there are some of these which are called acid brushes so when you watch back Brandon's video which is as I say linked in the description he will talk you through most of that um, about what he uses the various things for and how to use them so we've got two types of uh, lube um, so we have got um, maximum velocity, max V. Uh, I've got two of those uh, because it was it made sense with the shipping costs and everything to get a couple of them sent uh, at the same time of those. And then in a change from his video where he uses a different type, we have got the XLR8 Accelerate Ultra Graphite. Um, so the Max V is for the inner hubs. So inner hubs. Um, the Accelerate is for the outer axles. So watch Brandon's video. He'll talk you through all of that. Um, he uses these in his video. Because when he's got a thing on, he um, uses the brush to tap it to get it all in. So that's what those are for. Um, not covered in that video, but I think he has got videos on the channel. Is about um, drilling the bases. So drilling out these two points, front and rear, um, to remove the base so that you can fit different axles you can put weight into cars for building and using screws now these are self-tapping ones so i've got some of those sent as well so i've got the right ones and then he has sent me the right size drill bits so you need the bigger drill bit 
for drilling out the head okay and then the smaller ones let's see if I can get one out right here these focus these smaller ones are to drill the center hole of the post that sits behind here before you then use the self tapper to reattach the base so that's what that's about so yeah i'm going to have a go at modifying some cars now i've got the stuff um graphite's not available readily in the uk because we don't have the pinewood derby culture which is where this kind of initially came from um i picked this out this is a adapter for my electric screwdriver from hex to give me a drill bit head which i can then use with um said drill bits well certainly with the uh, the little ones i don't know whether these ones will fit in there or not but we will see um so that's the plan with all of that um but yeah so um i have many cars i tend to buy a lot of cars at the car boot um which have been pre-loved so they need some attention um and getting them to that one doesn't run too bad spin that front wheel really needs some work um spin properly and actually run well um take some effort up until now i haven't done any of that um but looking to advance the racing that's done at vulcan raceway i really really like this i like the blue wheels on it this uh, was one i picked up potentially to be used in a11 outlaws when we eventually get that back when Keldon gets some time to spend some time with me and when we get the lighting fixed for it um so yeah um these ones are the more common mainline style um runs okay but i still want to get them better um so at the minute nothing's modified down the line they perhaps will be once i learn the matchbox ones have things like play features um different wheels new ones i think have got plastic base i haven't pulled one of those out because i don't buy that many of those but matchbox tends to be more realistic casts hot wheels tend to be more fantastical but hot wheels tend to be generally faster although there have been some really fast matchbox ones anyway so um obviously an old rx7 i think it is what does it say Oh no, Datsun 280. So yeah, Datsun Skyline. Uh, Corgis. Brandon didn't cover Corgis in his channel video. Um, so it'd be interesting to see those because they have a riding ring. That they ride on, so they don't ride on the full width of the thing. So they're going to be even more notorious for um, if you've got bent axles. So uh, let's see if we can see. Can you see that little lip ring in the middle of each tire? Yeah. So, yeah, going to get on to that. Right. So that's this portion. I want to talk about something else. Give me one second and I'll come straight back to you. Right. So I want to talk to you about the channel about diecast racing on the channel and what you my viewers want to see um i have got a track builders team and uh, kelvin raven is part of that cuboid is part of that mason storm is part of that um or rather the people that are represented by those races are part of that but i'm interested in what you the people who watch the videos would like to see um, we've got the usual series. We've got um, the um, shootout 
series that seems to be running quite well. The Lotus competition seems to be going very well. I don't know which is going to come after that. Um, I'm collecting for several different series. Um, I'm looking to build another track. I'm looking to ring, build the, ba the barrel roll track, which will be a bit different. I'm looking to build a rally track um, as funds allow. Um, I'm looking to get speed traps. I'm looking to do a drag strip. But what do people want to see? Because I want to make content that people want to watch. That means I need to know what the people that are already watching my content want to see and would like to see more of. Now, I did speak a while ago about red versus blue. Um, you'll probably see some of that coming up because um, I haven't been able to do A11 Outlaws this year. Um, it may be that I will wait until next March and start A11 Outlaws up again then with season three. Um, I really love that series. I love filming that series. I love the storylines. I love everything about it. But to do that, I'm reliant on Keldon being available so that we can do the joint audio because that's part of the dynamic of it. Um, and real life, unfortunately, gets in the way. So Red vs. Blue is coming. Um, which will be the Flying Fenman uh, racing against Hikari Rin. So Flying Fenman racing for me in Sharky's Garage um, for the Team Blue and um, Hikari Rin racing for Keldon Race at Raven for Team Red. Um, that will be currently on the wing over track, um, looking at probably four pairings of, of vehicles Per episode so four blue cars four red cars and on a points tally over a period of time um, number of episodes so it should be quite interesting I need to get on with that and get the graphics done and get on with all of that um, so yeah please down in the comment section tell me what you'd like to see tell me what you like tell me what you don't like and I will try and do my best. I mean, I've listened to the feedback. I've tried to give a full track overview because that was something that was mentioned. Um, giving multiple camera angles, trying to do that. Um, yeah, so please drop us something in the comment section. Let us know what you think and we'll get back to the racing. Um, next week, we are back to the um, Lotus Shootout with the top eight um that's been filmed that's been filmed a while um the bottom eight has also been filmed i just need to edit it and get that up um i still need to film um redemption um and obviously once redemption's done i can then have this final six cars for the grand final um and i will be talking to the track builders team within the next few days to try and sort out what the next series is going to be uh, from the collections of cars that I've got um, and see where we're going there. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Catch you all again next time.